Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's the energy coming towards Virgo for the weekend. This is going to be a weekend read for the sign of Virgo. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, so this is going to be for Virgo. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what we need to see for the sign of Virgo for the weekend. assessing you're going to be looking at a situation and a new lens that's what i'm getting here you're seeing something clearly you're going to be assessing a situation there's something coming towards you okay there's something that is going to be coming to the surface over the, for the weekend at the bottom is attraction for some of you guys you're definitely attracting some some energy you're attracting someone or something into your energy okay into your or your orb it's there they're in your orbit okay but the thing about it is i feel like you're going to be placed in a situation and of course you're going to have to use your discernment but you're going to see something or someone totally different Okay, because you're definitely looking into looking at something into a different lens. All right, Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the sign of Virgo. What's coming towards Virgo this weekend? Self-worth. So what that's telling me is that whatever this is that you're going that whatever this is. Hmm. Yeah. So whatever this is that's coming towards you. Whatever this is that you're truly seeing, it's you evaluate. It's you seeing your self-worth. It's calling you to recognize that whatever this is does not serve your self. Like it doesn't serve your self-betterment. It doesn't do anything to help you. Okay. Why? Because I definitely get in the energy like whatever this is, this has been... Whatever this thing is, whoever this person is, whatever this is, whatever it is that you're seeing through a different lens. It could be a relationship. It could be a partnership, some type of connection. It could be a friendship. But you're seeing it differently. You're seeing it through a different lens. But the thing about it is apparently what Spirit is saying is that it doesn't give you fulfillment. It doesn't do something for you. In turn, and I'm not saying this selfishly. I'm saying this that whatever it is, it's not helping you in any kind of way, shape, or form. And Spirit is saying that you do need to recognize that it doesn't serve you justice, whatever this is. You need to recognize that whatever, if someone's offering you something, it's not, it's not, whatever this is, it's like you're sacrificing more than that person's having to sacrifice. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Kiss my grits. You see that? I'm definitely getting this in the energy. Spirit is saying to walk away from something. There's something that Spirit is saying that you need to refuse. It says, you know your worth see that there's something that's coming towards you this weekend and you're going to see it differently i feel like for some of you guys someone is offering you something for some of you guys somebody may come in and they may offer to take you out um for some of you guys there's something here that you are definitely going to see past the bullshit because i'm definitely getting that in the energy here 
and you're going to be like, nah, I'm good. Like that's, that's, the, that's the energy I'm getting. Like it's spirit is saying that that's, that's, that's how you should be feeling in this circumstance where you, where it's like, nah, I'm good. So if you have somebody that comes towards you and they ask you to go somewhere with them or to do something with them, and it's not something that you're like, if you have any sense of hesitation, spirit is saying the answer is nah, I'm good. You know, somebody may say, you want to come take a ride with me. Somebody may say, how can I take you out? Somebody may say, well, will you do this for me? Um, somebody may offer you something, you know, and you'd be like, nah, I'm good. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. All right. Let's keep this going. All right. Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for Virgo. What's the energy coming towards Virgo this weekend? What's the energy coming towards Virgo this weekend? Okay. Prophets and ancient seers. Decisions. So you're definitely going to have to make a decision. And ascended masters. Devoted spirits with specific intentions. Okay. So what I'm getting here, it's, the, it's your energy. It's the energy that's going to be surrounding you. See, at the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming is that you do have a new beginning. You do have a new beginning. And what I'm getting here is that there's someone here that's going to be coming in. And it's almost like their energy is going to block this new beginning for you. Um, if you don't uh, see your self-worth, if you don't see something for what it truly is, you have to make a decision. You're going to be, some of you guys, you're definitely going to be making a decision this weekend. Because there's something or someone coming towards you, okay, that can alter your progress, okay? I feel like spirit is guiding you and spirit is here working with you to try and make sure that you see things for what they truly are. All right, Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. So we have the six of cups and the reverse. So that's you giving more to a situation than someone else. You're giving more of yourself to something or to someone. And we have the nine of swords and the reverse. Someone's coming towards you. We have the page of pentacles. Somebody's coming in because they want to offer you something. But we have the king of pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that is not dependable, not loyal. Somebody that you can't trust. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy. We have the eight of wands in the reverse. So you're going to be getting some type of communication this weekend. You're definitely getting some type of communication. It could be with somebody from somebody that's younger than you. We have the five of wands in the reverse. But I'm getting in the energy. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. Knight of Wands. This person is coming in with some type of communication. They're trying to they're trying to move things along. Show me Holy Spirit. The fool. Hmm. That's taking a leap of faith. That's jumping into something. Show me Holy Spirit. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands has been coming out in the reverse a lot. That is that is not. Ace of Wands is kind of like a new creative burst. It's, it's something, it's new. But this is lacking in that. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. See, that's a, that's, that's, that's an unsure feeling. I'm, I'm definitely getting an unsure feeling. For some of you guys, this could definitely be a new opportunity. I'm definitely getting, for some of you guys, somebody is doing something. Something not right. 
I'm getting this here in this card when I'm looking at this card. It's like somebody is working. I feel like somebody may be working some type of magic. I'm definitely getting that here in this energy. Mm -hmm. And you see here next to this Ace of Cups in the reverse, you see this snake here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there's something here. There's something here in this energy. I'm not liking this. And you know, that's why your spirits are here with you. You see, it says you have decisions and predictive guidance. You're getting guidance here. This is your predictive guidance here because there's something here that you're not seeing or that you're going to be seeing totally different. And what it's telling me is devoted spirits with specific intentions. There's something bad. There's like somebody has some bad spirits around them. Somebody definitely has some bad spirits around them. This person that's coming towards you, I feel like they have bad spirits around them. The magician. Somebody's manifesting this, this reunion. You're magical right now. I feel like you're I feel like you're very intuitive right now. I feel like you know your spirit guides are giving you a lot of downloads. Like you're seeing things. This is where you're getting this predictive guidance from because you are it's through your manifestations, it's through you listening to your intuitions. Your spirit guides are actually guiding you and they're allowing you. They are giving you the power to see things. They're definitely giving you the power to see past things that are being told to you and to see the truth in something show me holy spirit four of pentacles holding on tight to something what are you holding on tight to because i definitely get this is you holding on tight four of wands in reverse i feel like you're holding on tight to your freedom I feel like a lot of you guys are holding on tight to your freedom. We have the page of swords. Somebody's watching you though. Whether this is you watching someone or someone watching you, somebody's definitely watching you. We have the five of cups. This is somebody from your past. Yeah, but the thing about it is I feel like somebody's sad. Like you could be a little sad about how some things turned out or how things will turn out, how things are going to be unfolding for you this weekend. I'm definitely getting it might leave you a little kind of bothersome but what spirit is saying is that you still have you know it's it's with well, this five of cups is telling me that you still have options you still have success that like you know there's still something more than what this failure can be you know because i definitely feel like for some of you guys you're being it's like a part of you wants to take a leap of faith into something but a part of you do, does not want to be foolish in that pursuit because you're de definitely trying to listen to your intuition you're definitely you've definitely been manifesting you definitely want i feel like for a lot of you guys you've been holding on hope to something but i feel like you know this weekend you're gonna truly see your self-worth I feel like whatever this is coming towards you, it's going to be like a light bulb moment and you're going to see your self-worth and you're definitely going to say, no, thank you. You're going to walk away from something or someone. You're going to refuse something or someone because Spirit is saying that you are finally going to know your worth. You're going to have self-respect. For some of you, this is someone that's coming towards you and you do need to seek that inner strength and have self-respect for yourself. Don't make them do, don't allow them to make you do or to to tempt you into doing something that is not beneficial to yourself know that know your worth show me holy spirit judgment oh yeah somebody's definitely coming in because they want a second chance but i feel like you've rendered judgment on this person already you see you see the truth or you're going to render judgment you're gonna you're gonna I, th I feel like you're gonna put somebody in their place this weekend that's what i'm getting i'm definitely getting you're putting somebody in their place this weekend we have the queen of wands oh yeah you you're very confident look at that you know we like with it see look at that you're ready you're ready to strike you're ready to strike down anybody that comes and tries to forsake you you're armed and ready you're 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 ready you're ready to fight for what you want and for what you believe in you're not letting anybody make you feel less than we have the emperor and then we have the empress that came out in the reverse so this i 
I feel like you're not. It's almost like I want to say that you embody the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Empress. But I know that there's somebody else here in this energy. And right now, even if this person that's coming towards you is your Emperor or your Empress, one of you, whoever you are, is not dealing with the other's bullshit. Like, you're not seeing eye to eye right now. Whatever they're coming towards you with or whatever you're going towards someone with, I'm definitely getting someone's coming towards you. And whatever they're coming towards you with, you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it in any kind of way, shape, or form. You're going to put this person in their place. While you still have feelings for this person, you still care for this person, this person very deeply, you're going to put them in your plate, in their place. And that's going to be it. That's it, shit, done. Word. Like, you know, that's how I feel. That's how I, that's how I see this coming, this playing out. We have the world. A successful end. You've manifested this. Some of you guys, you've been praying for this conclusion. Look, the devil. But the devil, it wanted to fly out in the reverse. I feel like you're ending this to toxic cycle. I feel like you're ending a toxic cycle. I feel like finally you're going to be like, no, I'm good. I'm done. Because it, whatever this is, whether if this is a coming together with an individual person or if it's walking away from a situation, a connection, a partnership, a business contract, because it could be a business contract too. whatever this is that you're going to be coming into terms with this weekend and that you do not. You're like, no, nah, I just I'm getting nah, I'm good. Like. It's not sitting well with you, you're not. You definitely know your worth, you know, and I feel like when you're going to see this from a different point of view, that's what it is. You're looking at it from a different point of view, a different perspective. You're looking at it through a different lens. You're definitely going to be like, nah, I'm good. I'm worth so much more than what I'm being offered. All right, Virgo, this is what I see for you this weekend. Let me know in the comments if this message resonates with you. Hit that like button if it does resonate. Subscribe if you haven't, okay? Until next time, I hope you have a very, very blessed weekend. Bye-bye.